G'day guys, welcome back to the On Empire. On this episode, we're gonna take a little bit of a look behind the scenes of what actually happens around here. So let's check it out. Okay guys, so this week we're just going to take a look at some of the stuff that doesn't really make it to camera for various reasons. Alright guys, so those who have subscribed to this channel and know what I'm all about, it's just pretty much documenting the cars that I'm building and um, playing with at the time. But I'm not going to lie, there's a lot that doesn't make it to the channel, uh, just purely because time factor. But today we're going to have a little bit of look around at some of the projects that do happen that you may not have seen. Firstly, there are some people on the channel that you would see from time to time. Obviously, there's a lot of Jake. There's Steve from Stitches and Sound. There's Andrea with the Tirana. Uh, there's Josh that you may have seen. Uh, I want to touch on some of these cars that have been worked on and what's going on. So first up behind me, we have the HJ Sandman. So this is Jake's car. He took a hold of this um, a few months ago and it was basically a swap deal. He got two cars for one. And so the plan for this car was to make a Sandman replica because who doesn't like 70s muscle stripes? So he wanted to stick with white. It's already got a healthy 308, a short nine inch. It's got some goodies in it, turbo 400. It wasn't until recently Jake started doing a little bit more research and found out that this car is actually a genuine Sandman. So absolute bonus for Jake there. We'll take a quick look around this car, show you a little bit of what's happened. So up front we'll see very factory configuration under here. It's a 308, aside from the rocker covers, Jake is doing this thing to look as factory as possible. Trying to basically bring this thing back to factory looking because stock is best. They always look nice and clean under the bonnet, and especially a car that iconic as this. We want to keep this thing looking pretty factory. So it's been finished in a nice solid white two pack uh, job. This was actually painted by, half of it was painted by Jake, half of it was actually painted by Josh. You would have seen Josh um, briefly on the channel. He's done a little bit of work on the HQ build. He's done some polish work and he is here most nights polishing different things. And now we've got him doing a few other things on some other cars as well. Just getting a little bit of help along the way. We got Scotty from LS Signs to do some Sandman stripes on it. They've been all digitally printed and fitted by Scotty and they look freaking amazing. The tailgate here ready to go on. Uh, you cannot beat 70s striping. It's just so bloody cool. Inside, mostly factory. We've got to do something here with the console here and the shifter. But overall, Jake's going a factory look on this car and so far coming out mint. These wheels. Now, we're not going to talk about these today, but there is some exciting news coming to this channel soon. So definitely, if you haven't already, subscribe and keep updated with what's going to be coming very soon with these wheels. All right, moving on to this little bucket here. This is uh, Steve from Stitches and Sound. He's on the channel quite a lot, doing a lot of trim work for us. This is a little 1200 Datsun wagon he's got. Uh, he's gonna retain all the patina on it. You may have seen this at our car show. Uh, uh, Jake's been doing some rust repairs here uh, and Steve's just doing this up as a Jap spec sort of patina car. So that should be a cool little project as well. Uh, now, this row of cars, nothing much new, not gonna lie. Um, my LTD, Andrea's Tirana, she's been working on, that's coming up wicked. We'll have an update video on that soon. Most of these cars are just sort of awaiting their turn. The Javelin in the end, I've been doing some work on and pulling some front end damage on it out of that. That is in a video I recently uploaded, so if you haven't checked that out, please. Um, this XY Fairmont wagon uh, in Teal Glow, it's a 302 factory Fairmont, has been for here for a long time and Jake is just finishing off some of the final touches on this car, coming along very nicely. We've got the Malou, Jake's 200SX, my XB, and one last customer's car in here. Um, not gonna lie, XB, we haven't touched. Uh, lost a bit of interest in that car, but it will come back, so please bear with me. There's plenty of cars on the channel to keep updated on. That will be one of them coming soon. I've got my daily in here now. A lot of people have actually asked about this car, surprisingly. It is literally just a 2006 BF Falcon Ute uh, XLS, I think it is. So it's a factory one tonner. It's got some sports bits like, you know, your spotty kit and all that sort of stuff. It's a dedicated gas barra car. 
Uh, for those who are not in Australia, barras, you would have heard them. They all ran these, and this is a, the gas model, so they've got the stronger bottom end. I contemplated turboing it, blah, 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 but bottom line is, I now have the F250, so this has got to go. Josh has given that a good polish, and it's come up really nice. I've got to do a few little things just to tidy it up, and then that's going to be going on the market. Now, coming over to the F100. We weren't going to document this on the channel. I'm still unsure if I'm going to. If too many people hassle me for it, I probably will. But I pretty much just bought this car because I was in the right place at the right time, had the money. So, picked up this F100. It's a 70, it's a 77 model, I think. Factory, automatic, 351. It's got a tow pack on it. It's got air conditioning, it's got CB, it's got electric brakes. This was someone's hauler. Someone used this and uh, someone loved it because this is all how I bought it. The paint is as is. Jake done a little bit on the roof here, but overall, this car was a super, super clean car. We've got some plans for this car, but um, yeah, we may touch on that later on the channel. We may not, not sure. As you can see up front here, the boys have been busy. Actually, Josh was working on this last night, stripping all this down uh, in preparation to paint under the bonnet, because as you can see, under here does not match up to what's on the rest of the car so this is all going to get resprayed in here tied it up really nice because engine bays make a massive difference and we love a nice clean engine bay steve from stitches and sounds has trimmed us up a seat over here we'll go have a quick look um yeah steve's been busy over here with uh a seat retrim and ordered a new carpet he's going to take care of the inside of that truck because that was the only let down pretty much um yeah as you can see here Nicely retrimmed seat and a brown carpet to go. And yeah, that is pretty much it for inside the shop. We have one more car to look at. Jake's gonna be very upset because he hasn't shown me this off and he's probably gonna be carrying on. But you guys may have seen this car in a recent video. We went for a cruise to get some lunch and we went in Jake's VE Valiant. This is a base model, three on the tree, pop pack car but it is super clean. Now this thing, we're talking in storage for the last 20 to 30 years. Uh, unrestored car, it's got factory paint and uh, it's only been maintained. The only thing that Jake has done, he's done a repair on both seal panels and a repair on one lower quarter. He's done everything right, he's metal finished it all and just blown a bit of color in just to match in. But overall, this is gonna retain the patina look because it's too good to restore really. Um, it's got a little bit of surface rust as you'll see here, but overall a super, super tidy car, insanely straight. Once again, Steve from Stitches and Sounds done some trim work inside here and um, basically tried to retain as much of the factory trim as possible but just repaired some of the spots that were really needing it and threw a carpet in it. This was a factory vinyl floor car, but now has a nice uh, carpet to suit and uh, even still has the factory delete option on the dash. All right, so under the bonnet here, we got your big banger. Slant 6 225 leaning tower of power. Uh, once again, nice and original under here. The boys have gone to town cleaning under here and uh, just detailing it up as best they could, but still retaining uh, all, the, all the weather that this thing has got. But uh, overall, as you can see, it is a pretty tidy car. Jake's done some upgrades as in, he's flushed out the cooling system, new thermostat, new water pump, pulleys, belts, um, new master cylinder, read on the brakes. Uh, he's gone over this thing mechanically, it is really good. So we went for a cruise in it and he used it all weekend, did not miss a beat. So. This is a really, really clean car. So this thing's actually gonna be coming up on the market soon. Um, I was trying to talk Jake into keeping it for the summer, but ultimately I think he wants to put the money into his VE wagon, which you may have seen on the channel also, because um, he already owns that car. It's a good solid car, similar condition to this. But uh, yeah, this is gonna be popping up soon. So keep your eyes peeled for this VE to hit the market soon. One last thing I will mention while I'm here at the shop as well is that this spoof is more or less done now. We've done, done a bit more um, cleaning up inside and it is now really well sealed and we're getting pretty good results out of this booth now considering it is built up pallet racking and leftover chipboard. Um, 
pretty happy with the results we're getting out of this thing now. We spent a little bit more time masking up cars and we're getting a way better result. So I guess the lesson is don't be lazy, do the job properly. So anyway, I'm gonna get stuck into this car now, do a few little upgrades. Got a couple of jobs coming here today and then uh, uh, we might do one little quick pass at the end of the day and see what we've finished up with. Guys, so I lied. I didn't do another pass at the end of the day. Nothing really exciting happened. Just a lot of little nitty gritty things down at the workshop. But we're back home now, I thought I'd just show you a couple of things. Um, you guys have seen the Datsun on the channel plenty of times. Uh, that's pretty much back to being old faithful. Never misses a beat. Uh, you've also seen the VG hardtop recently. Um, I haven't touched that since our car show. Um, the Dodge has been sitting in the background for quite a while now. I started a video months and months and months ago uh, before winter, lost interest, and now it's sitting there. I actually started doing some air ride on this car, and um, I never got to a point that I was happy with to show you all, but um, I'll show you real quickly that we have some extensive chassis mods going on here. I've notched the chassis, I've put some custom bag plates in. I've had it all mocked up, and... Um, yeah, look, I'm just working on getting this front end all bagged before I go ahead and put my motor in because there's some a few little rust repairs to do in the front here and uh, the front clip of this car obviously can come off. So while it's off, it makes total sense to do all the detailing of the chassis, all the firewall repairs and paint before the motor goes in and then I can place it in there and detail everything up really nice. But if I'm gonna do all that, I may as well do what I wanna do long term, which is air ride. So the front end of this car is gonna get all air rided out. Uh, and then I'm gonna literally put the um, torsion bars back in so that it is basically back to operating as a normal vehicle until the rear end's done. Once the rear end's done, then it's just a matter of throwing bags in the front and it's good to go. So that's my method for the Dodge. Um, it's sitting here looking a bit sorry for itself. Um, but we'll get to that soon. Last thing we're gonna have a look at as well is the old doom sled sitting up here under cover. Looking very, very sad, but uh, we're gonna get this out this weekend. So if you're watching this video right now, although it's just a very boring update video, uh, it will be a Saturday morning and this car is currently sitting at the Wavell Showgrounds. So come down, we would have been here since last night. Uh, Charlie and I, uh, the intention anyway, unless this thing breaks down on the way, I'm hoping that we're gonna have this thing down there for the Extreme Auto Expo, put the thing on display as an unfinished project, get it out for the first time in a long time. And yeah, that's pretty much it for what's going on around here at the Iron Empire. Um, a lot of in-between projects at the moment. Plenty of things happening around the place, but we'll be back to a regular video next week. So stay tuned if you haven't already. Subscribe to the channel. As I suggested recently, if you are keen on any merch on the online store, jump on, check that out and do your ordering early for Christmas because postage times are mental lately. Uh, all the support goes a long way. I will see you all on an upcoming episode of The Iron Empire. Cheers, guys.